in a town near Erie, Pennsylvania. NA1 SS, this is KC3 SGV. A group of students are trying to contact someone who is not particularly easy to reach. This is KC3 SGV. All those numbers and letters are ham radio call signs. NA1 SS is the International Space Station. Three, two, one. The first amateur contact in space happened 40 years ago with the Space Shuttle Columbia. Hello, W1JXN. This is W5LFL. You are first contact from uh, orbit. What advice would you Since give then, students? a group called ARIS, Amateur Radio on the International Space Station, has organized radio calls between astronauts and some million students worldwide. What do you do for fun on the space station? Over. Most of the time, adults do the setup. But at Harbor Creek High School, it's all about the students. Which license do you have? Uh, I have the Technician General and Amateur Extra Licenses. All of these students are licensed amateur radio operators, studying for a series of federal communications exams and passing to use radio waves to reach out to the world. My last contact was in Austria. But now, literally aiming higher, this space station call years in the making, endless hours of after school and weekends of preparation. This is the one you use to yes. contact the space, space yes. station? Did you guys put all of this stuff together? We've set everything up from the antennas to the radios, to the power supplies, antenna controllers. We've set this whole event up ourselves. The students have a 10 minute window to make contact, then question astronaut Andreas Mogensen. They can be very Assistant principal Drew Mortensen heads the advanced technology club at the school. After attending an amateur radio seminar, he thought, I'll bet our students can do this. You have to hit a target. Right, exactly. You're hitting something that's 254 miles away, traveling at 17,000 miles per hour, and you're hoping that everything goes correctly. Like, <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? No, right, exactly, no. The gym looks like it's set up for homecoming. Signs, balloons, you can feel the buzz. As classes file in to watch, the technology kids are psyched, anxious. Today, the students of Harbor Creek are on a journey to boldly go where few hams have gone before. The time has come. 15-year-old Giles Veit begins the call. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is KC3, SGV. The gym full of students wondering, will this work? NA1SS, NA1SS, this is KC3, SGV. NA1SS. Giles calls again. KC3, SGV. And again. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is KC3, SGV. Finally. Hey, Commander Mogensen, we have you a 5-7, a pretty good signal. So, are you ready for some questions? I am ready for questions. Go ahead. Lots of the club members get to take turns. Living in space as a payoff for the hours of work they've invested. Why do you think that space exploration is important? Over. Space exploration is important in many ways. One, because it's about knowledge, it's about expanding our horizons both physically but also mentally. In 10 short minutes, the space station is out of range. For the students! What was it like hitting that button over and over? As soon as we heard Commander Mogison respond, that was such a relief, really. I'm just looking at the smile on your face. Yeah. What else are you feeling right now? Um, lightheaded. <laughs> Mr. Mortensen is brimming with pride. I that. Yeah. How big of an emotional investment was this for you? I love my kids. I do. I absolutely love them. And so, for them to get to have that experience, it's huge. Why you become a teacher? Yep, absolutely. I clapped again. <laughs>
Yes. There were some tears that day, too, right? Yeah. Probably school, not, oh. not exactly loaded with resources. Nope. Yeah. The kids went out. They raised money to get the equipment oh. and everything else. Did it all themselves. That's right. All The, the nerds were one. Right. They won. <laughs> and what's interesting is they started this a couple of years ago. That advanced technology yeah. club has grown and oh. grown and grown. They're doing astronomy. They're doing all kinds of really cool stuff. And if you want to do this with your school, yeah. call this group A. R I S S Aris. It's, just Google it. It just does the heart good to see yeah. good kids, good teacher, yep. working hard, doing something. Incredible. And the Science. buzz in there was like, I can whoa, 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 this yeah. is what's going to happen. And obviously, school you being there is exactly pretty cool, right. too. I'm sure the whole community is watching there this morning, oh. the parents, yeah. the teachers, so all of you this morning. Kudos. Awesome. STEM rules. You were in the AV club. I was in the AV club. I have my first class, well, I had my first class FCC radio. Which is not easy to get. You know, it was, uh, it was a big deal. And they're still licensing for radio. I mean, this is still a cool Right. Technology. But Savannah, yes. this is a message to you and I oh. as the underachievers in high school. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say, oh, we were underachievers. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the elderly. <laughs> no, no. Like, and by the way, ham radio, very important. Uh, secondary, you know, when, when other forms of communication right. go out, During ham disasters. radio is there. Yes. Yeah. Disasters, yeah, big time stuff. Like that. so that's, right. it's, it's something that we really do need. Well, congrats right. to those kids. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.